It's May 28th. It's dark. It's cold. <laughs> we spent all of yesterday just north of some pretty violent storms. Nothing came here though but a couple downpours. And uh, one of these days it'll be summer. I don't know when. Let's see here. I forgot to uh, take the shutter guard off there. <laughs> The lens guard, as it were. I don't, I don't know what the right term is. But anyway, here is my salad garden. Finally starting to emerge on this side. These came up by themselves. And I should eat them soon. Lots of lettuce. Some of it's even growing in the sidewalk. But I'm not going to eat that. And uh, kaolettes. And the reason for the netting over everything is that the other morning I woke up and I heard the crows talking to each other. Came out here and found a lot of eaten leaves, so I'm blaming it on the crows. They apparently suddenly decided this garden was a, a salad bowl for them, so uh, everything, almost everything now has netting over it. Uh, this is a, an eggplant that I bought the other day and that was one of the first things to get eaten and beside it is a um, uh, <laughs> orchid pepper those are starting to grow very slowly they really need more heat than they're getting that's a bell pepper there and again the orchid peppers these three little guys you can see the other one that's the biggest one there a couple of orchid peppers over there and some basil that I bought. Plain old basil, nothing fancy. All these little stringy things, those are red onions. I had to put the rest of them in this week. And uh, my lone tomato plant, that is a beef master. So, it sounds like it's raining almost, but I don't feel anything. Okay, and over here we have a couple of cucumbers. The big ones on the edge here. Let me turn this. The big ones on the edge are uh, some sort of. Here we go. Some sort of uh, short vine cucumber, patio cucumber, container cucumber, whatever you call them. I forget the, the right word. It's escaping me at the moment. Those are doing fairly well, in spite of the cold. And over here, these teeny ones. Here we go, some Mexican sour gherkin. And uh, it is related to cucumbers and also to melons, someone said. I didn't know cucumbers and melons were in the same family. It's a curcubit. Um, it requires a long season. So I don't know if I'm going to get anything. Um, I guess in very warm climates it can live uh, as a perennial. But here it's definitely going to be an annual. There we go. Bush cucumber. That's what I was thinking of. You have to excuse me. My brain's getting slow in my old age. The garden's shaping up. Uh, I did put some topsoil down on top of my garden extension old boxes here. Cardboard boxes. By next year they'll be gone. And uh, over here, well, over there, I don't know if you can see it. I don't even know what I'm focusing on. It's so dark out here. Sometimes it's too light and I can't focus and sometimes it's too dark. But among the weeds there, there are some Pikes Peak. There's about three Pikes Peak uh, or four Pikes Peak sunflowers growing. Here are some purple. Those are purple Vikings over there. I think these are purple Majesties over here. And uh, the purple Vikings came up from something I had last year. So. That's pretty amazing. Yeah. The pots I'm using are corn pots. And 
never could grow corn, so I decided to grow some potatoes in these pots this year. And over here, I don't know if I've got it. Uh, whatever. It's a rival pumpkin. Some more Pikes Peak growing here. Composter, which I'm going to hide with some morning glory. I have to go and buy some seeds today. Okay, now that's not good. You're not supposed to be growing in the compost heap there. Okay. Uh, some more rival pumpkins. There we go. They're finally starting to grow a little bit. We've had some heat, but not nearly enough. There we go. But it is early in the spring. And most people start their pumpkins out in the garden, and I start mine indoors, so I actually am right, right on schedule, probably, even with no growth going on. And let's see here. Here are the uh, big moose pumpkins. That one's got a funny looking leaf, but it seems to be okay. That one looks kind of peaked. Where are we? Right here. And these two are doing fairly well. They're going to run out over the grass, or the weeds, or what passes for grass here, and kill it. And next year I'll put in a pond and all kinds of stuff. These are strawberry sundae sunflowers, or something like that. Got them on the camera. But they are underneath some netting because baby sunflowers are a delicacy for local wildlife. And over here is a peony I planted four years ago. And it's budding for the first time. So we got one, two, three, four, five buds on it. And we'll see. We'll see how it goes. I'm eager to see what the flowers look like because when I bought this thing, it was just a bare, a bare root. It didn't even say what kind of peony it was. And I pretty much given up hope on it. But now it's looking good. I don't see any ants on the buds today, which is disturbing, but go open. Okay, and over here is asparagus. This is purple asparagus. This is all that came back of all the planting I did of asparagus. And I had a ton of it. And over here is that sweet dumpling. It's called sweet dumpling um, squash. It hasn't come up yet. It's down there. And I'm hoping it'll come up and give me a couple of those. I can actually eat one and see what it's like this year. So, uh, yeah, we got catnip coming up wild in the garden. I also have one under the front tree. So it's a gift. I take it. I also have a... Uh, I also have a rose out front that apparently planted itself as part of the fairy rose and that that uh, rose is a rambler it is arching canes and I think one of the canes planted itself which is good because I was going to buy another fairy to balance out the front garden this is earth angel and along with the rest of the the rest of the roses it had a rough winter but it came back. Two of the roses did not come back. So this is Grand Champion. Over here, some new lavender. Woolly thyme, which I'm trying, and that is one of the roses that died two years ago. And it's making a small effort to come back, but I doubt it'll ever do anything. I just left it in. There we go. Another time, another uh, lavender. That's supposed to be a hardy lavender. Here is a lavender from 
I think two years ago. Came back last year. It is still solidly in the ground and it's very flexible, so I think it's still alive. One thing I've learned with lavender, don't pull it out until the end of June because uh, it can take that long to come back. And over here is quietness. And here's a rose that died a long time ago. And I, one of these days, will pull it out. Here's the fairy. There we go. And uh, it's, it's coming back from a rough winter. Here is the cane that planted itself. Now that's that's a, um, an oak leaf hydrangea there. And I'm going to try to move that over to over here to balance out the front garden. We'll see. Roses usually don't take kindly to that kind of behavior. And uh, over here is Harry. If you've been watching me all along, you'll remember how tiny Harry was when I moved in here. I planted him as he was used to stick, about 18 inches tall, and well, 12 inches anyway. And now he's a tree. Going to have to replace his tree ring this year without growing it. <clears throat> and let's see what else we got. That's some kind of a natural local plant. And here, whoops. These are my handsome cherry bushes. I got two. I got two more on order. Uh, they did flower this spring, but there was a snowstorm as they were flowering, and there was no pollination, and all of the uh, the cherries fell off. But I'm not really growing them for cherries; just growing them for a hedge. So I'll have two tiny ones coming in the mail soon. I'll plant them, and eventually we'll have a hedge there. And here's another rose bush that died. I, I forget the name of this one, Carnival or something. It wasn't hardy enough for this area, so it died back. And there's my kitty cat. Hi, kitty. Hi, Sasha. And he wants to be outside. He's kind of he's kind of mad. He doesn't understand why he's in the house. So anyway, there's the garden. And uh, hopefully we'll have some some progress.